So a four link mechanism with the following dimension is acted by a force 80 newton and those dimensions are AB is equal to 400 mm, AD is equal to 500 BC and DC are given and angle ABC is given. So let us draw a horizontal line then angle ABC is given. So that is 120 degree. Then AB is given as 400. So cut 400 mm here. Then AB after that they are given AD. AD is 500 mm. So this is A and this will be D. D is 500 mm. So this AD is horizontal. That will be given. AD is horizontal. So this is 500 mm. Then BC, B, this is B. BC is 100 mm, 100 centimeter. So take a scale. So we can only draw this by scale. So take a scale. So let us take that uh, 10 mm is equal to 10 centimeter. So 5 mm, this will be 5 centimeter. This will be 4 centimeter. This will be 7. Point, uh, this will be 7.5 centimeter. So here this is 10 cm. So in compass take 10 cm with the BS center draw an arc of 10 cm. Similarly here with the 7.5 cm radius with the DS center draw an arc. So those will intersect at a point and we are calling that point as C. So for drawing this C take 10 cm in compass with because BC is 10 cm. With the 10 cm with the BS center draw an arc then with the DS center and the radius 7.5 cm draw an arc. So we will get C. And if we are joining the point, we will get this is all figure. Now it is given that a force 80 Newton is acting at 150 degree at point E. So E is at 350 mm. So from here measure 3.5 cm. So this is the point E. So here a force is acting and that force is making 150 degree with the horizontal. So, we should draw a horizontal line. So, with this horizontal line, the force acting, suppose say that, uh, draw a horizontal line. So, this will be the force, 80 Newton. And this 80 Newton will be making an angle 150 degree with the horizontal line. So, this is how we draw this one. 150 degree means this will be 30 degree. So, this is how we draw uh, this figure. Then, so here if we are analyzing this BC is a two, mem two force member and that force will be acting along this BC itself. This will be the line of action. BC will be the line of action. This DC, uh, DC is the link with a known force and it is a three force member because here there will be, so here let us name this is the link one, this is the link two, this is three and this is four. So this one will exert a force on four this link 3 will exert a force on 4. So this is a 3 force number. Because here there is a non force 80 Newton 2. But we do not know the forces except this 80 Newton. So first we will draw this DC. So this is the DC. In DC there is a point D at a 350 3.5 centimeter from D. So that is E. So there there is a force 80 Newton. And this 80 Newton will be making Suppose uh, there will be, if this is a horizontal line, with the horizontal line it will be making on 50 degree. So somehow draw on 50 degree with the horizontal and then suppose say this is a horizontal line. Then draw a line with on 50 degree, then draw a line parallel to this line and passing through E. That's how we represent that 80 Newton. Now, if you are considering this point C through this junction, 3 is exerting a force on 4 and here this BC is a 2 force number. The force on this BC will be parallel to this BC itself. It will be along BC. So the force exerting on 4 will be through BC. So that direction will be somewhat like this. So, uh, parallel to somewhat like this parallel to BC. So this is BC will be parallel to BC and will pass through C. So parallel to this line. We only have direction, we do not have any magnitude. Now the second force, this one is the second force. So for a three force number, the forces will be meeting at a single point. So 
line of action of forces will be meeting at a single point. So this is the line of action of F34, F34 line of action. So this is the line of action of 80 Newton given force. Now at this junction D, there is a force exerted by link 1 on 4. So that will pass through D and that will that line of action of that force should meet this point. So that means line of action will be somewhere like this. Line of action will pass through D and should meet this point. So we are, now we are able to get the line of action for every forces and we know one force. So 80 Newton. So we will take scale. Suppose say that 80 Newton is 8 centimeter. So we will draw that 8 centimeter. Uh, same line parallel to this one, this force. Then we have two line of action. So we will be drawing those line of actions. First, this is the line of action. So a line parallel to line of action of F34. And this, this, this is the line of action of F14. So we will draw a line that is parallel to F14 here. So here, this is F14 and this is F34. So this is how we draw. So, so for this to be in equilibrium, so since this arrow is like this, here this arrow should be like this. So if this arrow is like this, one force, then another force must be like this, another force must be like this. Then only this all will be in equilibrium. Same direction. Uh, th this is in the, so here we are having some clockwise sense. So uh, that by looking at this, if this arrow were somewhat like this, then the other two arrows should be like this. So here, by looking at this arrow, we are representing these two forces. So now we have F34 and F14. By measuring F34 and F14, here by measuring it, we are able to get. Suppose by measuring it, we are getting some uh, 5 centimeters, say. So F34 is 5 Newton. No, 50 Newton. Because 80 Newton, we are represented by 8 centimeter. So 550 Newton. So F34 we have. So F34, uh, its direction is like this. F34 is the force on 4 exerted by 3. But if you are considering BC, then the F43, that is force on 3 uh, exerted by 4, that will be exactly opposite to that of F34. So this F34 is like this. So we have F43 opposite of F34 and that is of same magnitude 50 Newton. So we have F43. So this is a two force number. At this end B, there is a force F21. Force on F12. Force on 2 exerted by 1. F12. That will be opposite to that of F43. But same magnitude. 50 Newton. So now if you are considering this link AB. At link AB, there is a on link 3. So this is F23. On link 3, there is a force 50 Newton. On link 2, a force F32 will be acting that is exactly opposite to this F33. So now we have that is also 50 Newton. Now to find the couple, draw a line parallel to this force, find the perpendicular distance and get the couple. So this is how we get the torque on this particular AB, link AB. Thank you.